All right, welcome back to the channel. Tiafimo Lopez is threatened by Bob Arum over his money demands. Bob Arum, in not too subtle a way, says that his chickens will come home to roof, roost. A um, quote that I find particularly insulting. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. So there's a lot of things in this world you should not play with. Uh, the quote that your chickens will come home to roost is most certainly one of them. Uh, I have to tell you that this is going to be the third positive Tiafimo Lopez video that I've done in a row. But in this one, I'm going to I'm going to change, and I'm just going to issue a direct apology to that young man. I Thought he was arrogant. I thought that, I do think he's arrogant. I thought that he was losing his dome. Um, but I think I'm wrong. I think Tiafimo Lopez is a very astute young man and that he is making uh, professional decisions. I'm not sure who he's listening to. If it is Tim Bradley and, uh, and Andre Ward, I do not know. But whatever he's doing, he is doing something right. For certain so I'll just say, hey, man, this is one of these times that I have changed my mind about somebody. And let me tell you why that is the case. Because Bob Arum bumped his lips in such a fashion about that young man that it is completely out of pocket. Completely and utterly out of pocket. He says that Tiafimo Lopez because he put himself in a position to make the money that he deserves, although he has not done anything illegal, he has done something that will have long lasting ramifications and that eventually his chickens will come home to roost. Tiafimo Lopez gained an ally in me as soon as Bob Arum let that pop out of his mouth. If for the people that do not know, that is a threat. And it is a threat of a level that I'm not quite sure. Because that term was used by Malcolm X, Malik El Haj Shabazz. And it started the downfall of that man's life. Because I do believe in 1963, maybe 1962, he was talking about John F. Kennedy, and he said about John F. Kennedy that with the things that he's doing out there in the world, that eventually his chickens will come home to roost. What happened to John F. Kennedy after that? Also, what happened to the man that said it. If you are not familiar with the pregnant pause, let me give you one. There you go, you should have caught up already. If you have not, go get a book. That is shameful for that man to have said that to that young boy. Shameful and irresponsible for that man to have said that to that boy. First, Tiafimo Lopez, if he has not done anything illegal, is doing what he's supposed to do, which is representing himself to the fullest and, ass and assuring himself to the greatest degree possible that he will maximize his revenue. And if he does, he might be lucky enough to minimize the damage on his brain. We love boxing. Boxing is a hard sport. It is the hardest of the sports. It is harder on your body and your brain than the UFC is. It is harder on your body and your brain than almost any other sport because it is explicitly designed 
to damage your brain. That young man is supposed to be trying to get his money. So why did he have to go do it? He has to go do it because Bob Arum more than likely is going broke. Because Bob Arum has had his head in the sand for 30 years. He is not promoting the fighters or making the fights that boxing fans want to see. He is penny-pinching fighters and taking the difference between what the network pays him and what he gives the fighters scraps and making himself wealthy from everything that I can see. I do not know his books. I cannot say that what I'm saying is true for certain. However, I've been in business a long time. This man is worth $300 million and has been crying broke for 30 years. Who's going to pay for this? Who's going to pay? The networks are going to pay for it. How about you take a less of a cut? How about you become less overhead? And then the profit margins will increase. And the boxers will make more money. And you can afford the fight. Cut yourself out, Mr. Middleman. And everything will correct itself to the degree that it can. And if it does not correct itself beyond that, talk to the network and tell the network, boxer to network, I need more money. That's how you do it. What Tiafimo Lopez did, from what I can see, is refuse offers from Bob Arum and forcing a purse bid for the fight, which allowed other people who ain't got nearly enough money to pay for it normally to say that maybe they'll buy the fight. Bob Arum, if you have a three belt holder in Tiafimo Lopez that is a top 10 pound for pound fighter, how come you can't find enough money for him to fight an IBF mandatory? It seems as if maybe the problem is with Bob Arum and not with that young man. But to threaten a pencil whipping on that man, because that's what you did. You said down the road, or he said down the road, maybe you don't get the Josh Taylor, Josh Taylor, um, Jose Ramirez fight. As if, Bob, as if. They're going to be at that weight class for much longer. When they fight, if they fight, one of them leaves and one of them lost. Do you not think that people understand what's going on in the world of boxing? We've been watching for 50 years. The tricks are up. That is underhanded. And disrespectful to that young man, disrespectful to that young man's father, disrespectful to John F. Kennedy, and disrespected to Malik El Haj Shabazz, formerly known as Malcolm X, formerly below, formerly known as Malcolm Little. Please forgive me for not remembering his birth name. But that is disgusting. As a student of history and a student of boxing, the collision points of that statement are unacceptable. Completely unacceptable. I don't care how old he is. I don't care how rich he is. That is irresponsible. You do not threaten somebody's livelihood because they did something in their best interest, which was not in violation of an agreement that you made with him. And fully within the rights of a United States citizen. You, Mr. Bob Arum, rather, Threaten to blackball this man. That's what that is. Threatening to blackball him because he wanted to be paid fairly. That's how I see it. You guys read the quote. Take it however you want it. But hey, no, 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 no. That's not acceptable in my opinion. You let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.